Alright, uh, guys, you guys ready for your next act? Enjoying yourselves? Having a good time? Alright, we keep that energy up. And uh, please, a warm welcome right now for Aaron McLaughlin, everybody. Let's hear it for him. Awesome. So since this is my first time doing stand-up, um, I'm going to kind of take it in a new direction that not a lot of female comedians do. Um, I'm going to stand down stage center right here without a stool, and I'm going to talk to you guys about vaginas until your ears bleed. <laughs> it, it's never been done before. Hopefully it's new, you know. Um, you know what? I never really understand what uh, parents mean when they say you learn a lot from your kids, you know? It's kind of weird. But then I realized, I mean, you always learn from your mistakes. So, I kind of wish I had a beard. I know that's super weird, like, oh, this teenager wants a beard, What whatevs. Totally, you see it on Twitter all the time. But um, I kind of want a beard. If I had a beard, I'd be exactly like that guy from The Hunger Games. I'd just shave a maze into my face, and then I'd have my friends solve it. My boyfriend would never get bored. Just kidding, I don't have a boyfriend. Hashtag jokes! <laughs> So I was at an Irish pub a couple weeks ago. And this guy hit on me and he's like, you're the prettiest girl in this pub. And I'm like, I think I'm the only girl. This is an Irish pub. Burn the, burn the origin of my surname? Check. In fact, I didn't even check anything off. That's, that, that's what we theater people call a prop. Um, high school. Can someone just say high school? High school. high school. Speaking of high school, <laughs> what are white says? I don't know what they are. Um, I'm taking a creative writing class in high school right now, which is exactly what you think it is. It's biology. And I wrote a poem. I wrote a poem, and I was going to perform it. Is that cool? We're going to go really classic here, back in the 50s. So the name of this poem, what, what are the 50s? I don't know what that is. They're 17. Um, this poem is called I Am Aaron, and incidentally, the first line of the poem is I Am Aaron. I am 17 years old, I am a senior with all of my teeth, an optimist with occasional negativity. Um, I'm fairly political, but I only really care about American politics, which is actually a great example of how I think like an American. I mean, I've been told once that I have a unique face, I think that's a bad thing. My, eye, my eyes are large like Chris Christie and blue like the last episode of The Bachelor. Poor Claire. Poor Claire. Aww. No one gives any shit about that. Nikki has the whole way. Nick, yes, thank you. Can we like talk about this after, sir? Like, thank you. Wow, I want to train to be an astronaut, but then I remember that you have to learn physics. So I'd rather like just wait for HBO to hire me, then I can like show my tits and get hundreds of hundreds of dollars, and then maybe buy myself into the astronaut program, like Justin Bieber did. <laughs> That's the only thing we have in common, <clears throat> besides the <laughs> packs. <laughs> you know. Um, I'm pretty good at directions, um, but I'm also a good liar. <laughs> Um, I believe men should be at peace and women without yeast. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. Oh, thanks. I'm 17, like I said. What am I doing? Um, I think my life is a TV show, so I always verbally break the fourth wall. Hey, see what I did there? Kevin, get your hand out of your pants. I swear to God. That's Kevin who watches every Saturday and Tuesday. He lives in his basement. Edmonton. What is this cord doing? I hate I'm a techie, so I like to coil things, and this is not coiled, I don't like it. <laughs> um, I'm scared that one day I'll wake up and I won't know what to say. I'm scared that one day I'll be isolated from what I once was, conversation, mutual interest. I'm scared that one day I'll wake up and I won't be fine anymore. I am Beyonce. Oh, sorry. I am, I am Aaron, and I wish I was Beyonce. Thanks. That's it!